Dana White has just officially announced the new main event for UFC Edmonton which we had already told you yesterday. Although Brandon Moreno vs Amir Albazi now headlines the Edmonton card on November 2, the co-main event between Aaron Blodgefield and Rose Dama Yunus will still be contested at 5 rounds. There are two more UFC fight changes as well. Kevin Boryaz is out of his fight with Edgar Chaires on UFC 306 card and Chaires will now face Joshua Mann. While Alessandro Costa is out of his fight with Matt Schnell this weekend at UFC Vegas 97 and Schnell will now face Cody Durden. For accepting a fight on just 4 days notice, Durden has received a new 4 fight contract and due to a short time period, bout will be contested at bantamweight instead of flyweight division. These 5 fighters also got UFC contracts after winning their fights on Dana White's Contender Series week 4 today. A rematch from week 3 is also booked for the week 10 of Dana White's Contender Series where Nick Piccini takes on Jack Duffy again. Piccini won last week a close split decision against Duffy but Dana White didn't agree with the decision and offered both guys a rematch in week 10 of the Dana White's Contender Series and both have now accepted. Also outside of the UFC, Johnny Eblin vs Fabian Edwards 2 has been removed from Bellator London and will be rebooked for a later date. Card is still on with its co-man event moving to the main event spot. A massive boxing fight is also announced where Tim Tzu will challenge Bafra Murtazaliyev for his IBF Super Welterweight World Title on October 19th in Florida. Noya Inoue vs Gento Nakatani is also being eyed for a future fight at the Tokyo Dome. Bob Aram has revealed that Inoue's next fight will likely be vs IBF mandatory challenger Sam Goodman on December 24th in Tokyo. Then the plan is for him to share a card with Nakatani in April in Las Vegas with the idea being to match them down the line. I just remembered from ducking that UFC welterweight champion Bilal Muhammad continues ducking Shafqat Rahmano via Twitter where he says even Tony Ferguson deserves the title shot more than Shafqat Rahmano. Talking to Submission Radio, Bilal said he will finish Rahmanov and break his undefeated streak if this fight is made. Shavkat hits back at Bilal and reminds him of his 100% finish rate. But I think that's not gonna be enough for Shavkat because according to the reports, he and Kamaru Uzman both have received an offer from the UFC to fight at UFC 310 at T-Mobile Arena. Rahmanov has accepted the offer and is now waiting for Kamaru Uzman's response. This week's headliner Gilbert Burns also has his sights on Kamaru Uzman rematch and plans to call him out if he wins this Saturday. 38 year old Burns says that his final run at gold begins this weekend with Sean Brady win. Bilal also talked about Kamaru Uzman as well as Sean Strickland. Champ says he will dominate Kamaru Uzman in a fight and he also thinks former middleweight champion Sean Strickland isn't a tough matchup for him and that he won't achieve UFC championship glory again because he sucks. At the post-event press conference after week 4 of Dana White's Contender Series, a reporter asked Dana White whether Sean Strickland still gets the next title shot after Alex Pereira's announcement to move down and fight DDP. In response, Dana praised Alex Pereira for wanting to fight everybody and then did not confirm if Sean Strickland gets the next title shot or not. In the same interview, Dana White once again comments on John Jones not being ranked number one pound for pound fighter. White can't wait for AI to run the UFC rankings so John Jones can get his proper pound for pound respect. UFC 306 headliner Mirab Dawalishvili previously had posted a video on his accounts of getting cut and then removing the stitches himself which Dana White didn't like and criticized him. Now Dawalishvili shrugs off Dana White's criticism and assures everyone he is ready to go. UFC 307 star Aljamain Sterling doesn't believe his opponent Mofsar Evloev is a clean fighter. Sterling believes that if he beats Evloev, then he should secure the next featherweight title shot. 
featherweight champion and UFC 308 headliner Ilya Toporia has given his prediction for his fight with Max Holloway. He predicts he will be the first one to crack Max Holloway's chin and that too in the very first round. If Ilya really does this impossible task, he can really be the next Conor McGregor. Talking about Conor McGregor, McGregor gives you the reason to tune in to Bear Knuckle FC this Friday night and teases a potential clash with a former verbal sparring partner Jeremy Stephens aka who the F is that guy. And that's all for today. Like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with the fight world. Now I'll see you tomorrow in the next video so till then do whatever you want.